Welcome to the host with the most podcast. Podcast. And now, direct from the Razzle Dazzle Studios, here's the tan, tattooed connoisseur of conversation, Todd Newton. As we prepare for uh, Super Bowl this weekend, or as uh, I think a lot of people are, le- are legally required to call it, the big game. I think there are some places you can't even call it. You can't even refer to this. You know, when I worked on Home Shopping Network, we sold uh, NFL merchandise, like blankets and jackets and shirts. And I probably bought some. Yeah, and, and you weren't allowed, when it was Super Bowl time, you weren't allowed to say Super Bowl. Isn't that ridiculous? If you're selling NFL stuff. Because the NFL wants money. So if you say Super Bowl, we want to check. I guess. But Maria and I have done our due diligence for you, my friend, to make sure that your snacks are in order. And you, Absolutely. You, obviously, it's all about the chicken wings. And we're, we're going to talk about that probably tomorrow. I got some chicken wing stats for, for the big game here. Oh, neat. But what I'm looking at right now, Maria Todd, is the most popular dips for your chips per state. All right? Wow. Okay. Now, now, here in State 48, the great state of Arizona, we are all about the buffalo chicken dip for our stip, uh, for our chips. Buffalo okay. chicken. Okay. There in the, in the Lone Star State, where my partner Maria is, queso. I'm going to... Of course. Much smarter. I like the queso. Uh, Our friends listening in Florida, we got a lot of friends in Sarasota and Clearwater, down Miami and the Keys. You all go for a cream cheese dip. I don't know about that one. Cream cheese Hmm. dip? Cream Hmm. cheese and what? Because cream cheese by itself doesn't have a whole lot of flavor. Yeah. Uh, Chiefs fans in Missouri, they go for the green dip. Oklahoma is... Oh, now dig this. This is interesting. Oklahoma... They like to stick their chips in a chocolate chip cookie dip. What? Now I'm all for let's 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 marinate on this for a moment. I'm all for okay. sweet and sour. You know, I yes. like I like the, that, that little bag of trail mix that has the nuts and the chocolate in. But I don't know right. about a salty tortilla chip in a, in a chocolate chip cookie dough dip. I don't know about that. Eh. Now I admit that I have eaten a chip dipped like you buy the chips that were dipped like in chocolate Uh i've done that before and it's okay like a little bit of it i don't know that i want to eat a whole bag like that yeah i don't know and you got to be careful too when you're getting experimental and you're eating too much because if you got a few brewskis in you and then you start eating like this man you're gonna tap out by halftime you know, you, not to you, mention there may be some trouble. There, right. Your stomach might not be happy about it. Maybe something brewing. Uh, yes. Let's see. Oklahoma Eagles fans in Pennsylvania, they love love that cheese hamburger dip. A cheeseburger dip. Ooh. That would be good. Oh, okay. I'm at. Massachusetts, the crab dip. Yes. Yes. Of course. Of yes, course. Yes. Uh, Louisiana, artichoke dip. Nothing wrong with an artichoke dip. Nope, not at all. In Nevada, which is a great place to watch the game, of course, a beer dip. All right. You got my attention with that one. I bet you that's beer and cheese. Uh Uh-huh. A little little thick. You just got to moderate your, you know, how deep you go with that chip. Yeah. You just can't can't go all in. Uh, California, they love the jalapeno popper dip. And uh, finally on our list here of great dips for your chips for the Super Bowl this weekend, Wisconsin. Is of course. I know it's cheese. They love that cheese dip. Yes, they do. What's your dip? Head on over to our website. <laughs> shoot us an email. Tell us about your dip. Maria and I are very curious about you and your yes. dip and all kinds of things about your dip. Let's get back to the talk that will keep you talking. This is the host with the most podcast with Todd Newton. Hey, we were talking about uh, interesting food combinations there a moment ago, Maria Todd, and Oreos. Now, Oreos, to me, Oreos, Doritos, chili, and tater tots are four foods that you you really don't have to mess with. You know what I mean? No, they're fine just the way you make them. That's right. That's right. You don't, you know, you don't want to go in and... And uh, and put eyeshadow on the Mona Lisa, so you don't no. need to mess 
with an Oreo cookie. Now, when you came out with the vanilla Oreo, I tried it, enjoyed it, sure. When you said, hey, Todd, would you like to sprinkle a little cheese and maybe some sour cream on your chili? Tried it, enjoyed it. When I go to the Waffle House and they mess with my tater tots, all right, but let's not go too, too far here. What would you say if I told you that I had a homemade recipe here snagged off of social media somewhere by one of our extensive uh, staff members, you know, scattered all across? I believe this came from our our office in Dubai, Maria. Um, Oh, okay. Yeah. What would you say if I told you I could tell you how to make your Oreos taste like cheesecake? Hold on a minute. Uh, You're making my Oreos taste like cheesecake. Like, are they going to be that way out of the bag, or I got to mix them? No, with them? no. You got to more. You got to get. You got to throw a little razzle dazzle into it. It's yeah. It's, okay. Uh, yeah, they don't. There's not an Oreo uh, cheesecake flavored Oreo down at the Piggly Wiggly. You got to you got to put a little elbow grease into this if you're if you're looking at this. Now, this, okay. So what do I do? Okay. So you open up the cabinet there, and there's a package of Oreos. They're always singing to you. You know, the the, mm. the the flap is always up just a little bit like a puckered, seductive lip. You oh, know, yeah, they're calling you. Encouraging you to, to come hither. And uh, rarely has anyone ever looked at a pack of Oreos and said, man, I wish these tasted differently. I, I wish there was something I could do. But do you know, if you take an Oreo, and I have not tried this, but if you take an Oreo and you dip it into sour cream, it supposedly tastes just like cheesecake. Okay, I have both of those things at my house. Mm-hmm. It's all over social media right now. If you dip an Oreo, regular old Oreo, into sour cream, it will taste like cheesecake. And immediately, my partner over there said, wait, I have both of those right here in the kitchen. So I, I will turn it over to you, Maria. Describe for us the setting, if you will, before you. All right. What I have is just your basic Oreo cookies, not the double stuff, just the basic Oreo cookies, the regular flavor, uh-huh. not sprinkles, nothing. The basic Oreo and just basic store brand sour cream. Okay. Okay. Yes. And I'm going to dip it into this vat of sour cream. <laughs> now, are you and going to go? Are you going to go halfway into the cookie? Are you going to dip the entire cookie and then? No, no, just halfway, just like bite size, enough for me to bite a little bit off. Okay, but whatever you dip, make sure you bite so you get a mouthful of the cookie and the sour cream. You know, you don't want to throw off the proportions here. No, oh, thank you. Okay, <laughs> I'm a little skeptical, but here you we go. Try okay, trying to do my best Guy Fieri with proportions. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> when you're ready. All right. I'm ready. Here we go. I got the Oreo. I'm dunking it. Oh, there's there's the bite. We heard that. She's in the middle of... Oh, yeah. She's consuming. Maria was taught well by her mama. She's chewing her mm-hmm. food. All right. She's not, oh, my God. She's not gagging. We just got an Oreo. It really kind of does taste like cheesecake. It does? Mm-hmm. Now, do you think it's the sour cream mixing with the cream filling? Because the chocolate can't have anything to do with it. I, no, I think it's the sour cream and the cream filling mixing together. And then, and then the, the. But I will say this. Yeah. <laughs> I would just rather have an Oreo cheesecake. Right. Yeah, than che- this. But you're home on a Friday night by yourself. Nobody else there. Why not? Drunk. Yeah. Listen, Cheesecake Factory, you got nothing to worry about. Your Oreo cheesecake no. is uh, just fine. Well, Maria, thank you for doing that. My goodness, what a trooper you are. Just an absolute... Anytime I'm called to try something with an <clears throat> Oreo, I am here for you. That was really impressive. Very, very brave. Thank you for keeping the art of conversation alive. For more Todd, visit ToddNewtonOnline.com. And don't forget to rate and review the show today. The host with the most Toddcast is produced by the host with the most LLC. All rights reserved.